What's going on guys? Welcome to another episode of uh, Happy Fly Day. Today we're going to do this perch articulated streamer that I made. Uh, 54 walleye. It's kind of a trout pattern but I modified it for perch to fit for uh, fishing in Ontario for walleye and uh, bass and uh, does well for early season uh, tie a little bigger. Does a little season for early season muskie as well. And uh, hope everybody had a good opening weekend. Uh, mine was uh, it was good to get out, but the water was crazy high. Uh, some of the lakes were three to four feet high, and some of the rivers I fished in the Quarthas were six feet high over the channel markers, so it was crazy. Uh, trying to get flies down deep, almost impossible. Trying to find slack water, almost almost impossible. It was all current screaming. I didn't get any fish other than rock bass, and that's about it, but that's it. So hopefully this weekend's May 2 for a weekend. Woo! Hopefully this weekend will be uh, better than last weekend and uh, stay safe, uh, catch a fish and uh, have some fun and uh, do we're doing this perch fly articulated today. Let me run through the material list and then we'll uh, get the device after this. After I finish my uh, you know usual coffee, I don't even know where I put it. Uh, I always probably got get more in it. Anyways, I'm gonna find my coffee. I'm gonna do this material list and then we're we'll get the device. Welcome to the episode of Tellers and Chasers. I have to excuse my uh, my voice. I got this flu or cold. I don't know. I've been in, it's my first day out of bed in two days, so uh, I don't know. I don't usually get sick very often, but here I am. Anyways, let's get to this fly. So this fly has two hooks. Okay, the first hook is going to be a mustad deer hair signature and a one knot in the front hook, and the back pack, back hook is going to be Universal Predator number four. I went a little bit smaller. Usually, I only go one size um, down from like a say number one. I'll go down to like a one, but I want the fly to kick a lot more in the current. And since this fly is uh, and this water's really high, this will be add an um, extra little movement in the fly. And then for the head, instead of using um, this one has a um, fish helmet on, fish mask. You can use that. I use an eight point five. This one we're gonna do today. We're gonna do it in the bait fish head today. Bait fish head. Uh, this is the uh, tan gold, and it's uh, this is a large one. We're gonna use this one today, so I can get the fly to go up and then down like a jiggy action with the tail kicking in the current. So double whammy. And then to join the two hooks together, we're gonna use some uh, surf line wire and 30 pound. It's probably a bit overkill, but uh, I use it for other stuff, so kind of it fits through all the hooks, eyes. So that's all that matters. And then we're gonna run. Uh, I just run to like. Any store and get beads in the six mil. This is versus uh, I bought them all in one bag because sometimes I want different colors. Uh, we're gonna use chartreuse, two six mil little chartreuse beads that, to get the uh, separate the two flies together. Okay, <clears throat> and for the back, we're gonna use rabbit strip, black barred olive, give that perchy stripe uh, pattern. And then for the body, we're gonna use uh, three colors of marabou. Okay, majority of it's gonna be uh, yellow and white. All right, yellow and white marabou. The blood, the blood quill, not, not the, not the uh, woolly butter stuff, blood quill. And then we're going to use orange uh, marabou, one strip or two strips of orange uh, in there to uh, submit the orange fins. A little hot spot kind of thing in the fins. And the head, we're going to use a little bit of uh, Ice Dove UV Pearl, give it a flash. And then the front, over the head, some foxtail overlaying the back, back of the head. And then I dropped this one. <coughs> If you want the fly, um, the fly to be shiny, you can either use a polar chenille, either gold or silver, and then I like the UV stuff. Um, so we may put some of this gold UV in there just to mix it, make it pop. Anyways, that's the material list. I found my coffee. It's right here now. It takes you this, this. I never got the vice. Number four predator hook in here. Uh, it's just black six dot thread. That's it. Okay. Uh, dark, dark barred or black barred olive variant rabbit. Plus over up the bead. So it's gonna be two and a half hook shanks. <clears throat> right. And then me and my V and my tail. A little bit longer than usual. Kind of flap a lot more in the current. Skinny in the end. 
right? V the tail, and then there's the rabbit. So we're gonna, there's the front part hanging over, the half a shank, right? In the front, that's gonna be there. And this part's gonna get tied down right here. So we're gonna separate the rabbit. We're gonna tie it down right at the end. Tight ones get down there, one underneath, right. and pull tight in the front. That's it, and that'll stay there. If you want to tie a couple more, like underneath, like that, underneath the rabbit, pull the hook, go in, pull front again, it's up to you. And we're gonna go probably a barbish area. Tying a piece of uh, white marble. Find a good one. Right, so that's a good one. Grab with a tip. Pull backwards. Right. Tie it in there like that. Back to the shank. Or sorry, back to the back of the hook towards the rabbit. That piece of fold that back to in there like that. We're gonna go like out here. Take the stem, push all the fires backwards, so we're just going to palmer this rabbit, or uh, palmer this rabbit, palmer this uh, marabou to the front. I'm trying to get too many things uh, messed up here from the marabous. Keep holding it in as you go. Back to basically the mid midpoint. That in there, capture that there, Let that hang. We could take a bodkin or some, I just take those other points and just like, pull out the fiber strap gently. Fibers out. I'm good. Pull it back a bit. It's kind of sparse. Let me put another feather on. Put another small one. We'll do the same thing. Another one. Just sparse one. <coughs> we'll do the same thing. Put that there. For a yellow feather. Back in here. What's it like? Pick them out. Like Zoo. That's that. So yellow, don't need much, you just need a little one. It's an accent, that's all. It's like, same thing, I'm going to with a tip. Move that there. Pop it right around. Right. Tie it off right there. Cut off the stem. Up the 
head. Okay, nice. Neat. Separate the uh, marabou on top. Put them one side either. Split it down the middle like this. And take a rabbit and tie it over top of it all. Right there. So we're gonna leave this thing on here. This flap hanging in front. <coughs> we're gonna leave it there. We're gonna use it to. Um, Cover our, our uh, gap in between the hook and the other hook and the beads a little bit. We'll cut it if, as we need to later. Cut that. You can hit it with some head cement or glue or UV glue or you know, you know just a little bit of. more durable you know while you have teeth so, so oops it's too much apparently if you do just spin it around a bit right like so make it look good go to the light right the light That's a back, that's a back fly, back hook. All right, front hook. All right, so you can tie the hook point up, hook point down, totally up to you. You just remember what way you put on there because the fish skull helmets they're usually for. One side has a weight in the bottom and then it's thinner on one side there, so it'll flip the hook over. So we're gonna cover this with some thread base. I'm gonna put my wire on the whole shank. Some guys loop through the hook eye. I don't find it makes a difference. Maybe for a big muskie or something like that, but for the most part, uh, for walleye, I've never had a problem with them, or bass, I've never had a problem. I'm going to tie, the, tie it down like a madman. Um, both beads, chartreuse and six mil. Drop that one. That one. Put our hook on here, our rear hook. All right. Back to the beads. It's not really a hard tie, it's just a lot of components, that's all. Really, it's just marabou and rabbit and palmer, so like just the two hooks and the wire. You're just starting out, this is kind of a Seems daunting, but it's not that bad actually. All right, and just pull it tight as you can to make a loop. I'm not too tight that it's going to pinch it. You want to flop like that. And then you can there. So I'm going to tie this down to there. And then right, about, right about. Normally I'd just loop it over. Closer to the front, but since we're using this uh, fish helmet versus the fish uh, mask, I want to leave a little bit more room. So we're going to double it back over itself and then tie it tight right, right, right at the third mark, probably the hook, so we have more room. So we'll put this, when we put the helmet on, it's going to sit basically right. It's going to sit right there where I want it to, so I'm not going to go back any further than that. Right, the, the thing is, the wire is flipped over. This part you gotta be careful you don't cut your thread on the top. So just go like loose for a bit, kinda on top of it, and then you can go all the way back and then tighten it down. And then I usually do a pull and the loop. Just get it going. Back up to the front. 
then we're gonna hit it with a bit of Zapagat, just to make it, uh, just to make it copacetic. Just make sure it stays there. Wire, nylon coated, so it might slip, but I'm not having slip, but put a glue on there. with my little clippy on there, just get it out of the way, and then just wrap some more here down here. And some screws are starting to dry. Get my bog in. Where I put it? Right there. Just run the screw around. <coughs> About that sting. The reason I use this hook instead of the uh, other hook is because it has a bigger, uh, has a wider gap on it. So you put the fish mask on, or the helmet, it doesn't interfere with the uh, doesn't interfere with the uh, hook barb at all. So same as the other back half, uh, the rabbit. We're gonna basically overlap these two rabbits. Um, just give me a shank. And then back to the, just past the beads. The that shank, and then a little bit in the front, so we can build the head better in the front. My voice and my coffee. Set up the plague. I'm not sure it's a plague. I'm just not feeling good. Same thing, separate the rabbit in the back. Okay, we're gonna go back to the bead. And I'm gonna put this rabbit right on there. Like the right tight to the bead. We're gonna go behind it. And in front of it. So if you're gonna add flash, like this pore chenille, this is where you put it, I would put it right here. We can, you can put it on or not put it on. This is an accent, right? Probably like three inches-ish. Separate the material there. Tie it right in there like that. Glue still wet. I picked up. Pick up the fibers out in the back. That's that. And then we're gonna take um, some orange marabou. One thing with orange, I'm just gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna stroke it all backwards, tie it in by the tip. I'm gonna butt it up right against the other material. Tie it over. Right, palm it over, like so. Oh, only one less so. Stem got fat there, so I don't want that to fall. So do that, and that, and that. Cut that off right there. There's orange. Yellow again. You basically, you want to stop with that wire bent over. That's where you want to stop. That's kind of a guide. There's a little yellow one again. Same thing, just repeat the process. And just put that in there. Like so. Palmer that one in. Some of that one again. There you go. Palmer that one in. Put that in like that. Put her off like so. Pull that out. Tie that in there. Pick those out. 
separate them on both sides. Okay. And now we're going to take our white. Time with the tips. We're just about at that mark now. Pump that in. Separate this up the back. Now these fish helmets are a bit of a pain because if you build too much thread, they won't fit. So before you decide if you want to put uh, fox fur or anything on the top over, over a wing, I would check the uh, check the thread base before you do that. All right. So we're just about maxed out. It's not it's great. It's not hard to put on, but it's uh, snug. You can feel it hitting the material. So if you're gonna put fox fur on top, make sure it's thin. Otherwise, just tie it on directly like that. Put on your material. You can put a little bit of uh, DV on the bottom. Ice dub. All right. Just a little bit. Pull it apart so it's all the same length. All right. And then just wrap it around the shank. Except the front uh, belly of the perch. Take a little strip, just a little strap of fox fur, just to make it black. Like, like this much fox fur, just to make it overweight. You have to tie the rabbit on first. Don't forget to tie the rabbit on first. Separate these. Pull your rabbit over. Further back, like so. I'm gonna cut this off. And then tie your fox fur in. Put it over in. If you want to use fox fur, it's up to you. Or anything other material you want to put in there black. It's thin. So access not like a black accent. Alright. Let's fly. Wait, finish here. I'm gonna put you, put you right here. Whip finish. Cut this. Check the old helmet. Make sure it's right side up. Squish her in there like that. And then we're going to take it off. Put some glue on it and then tie some thread in front of it. Let's have a gap. So it's heavier in there, so it sits that way in the water. Push it on there, hold. And tie some thread in the front. Right. Finish it, hold it on there. It is perch fly. Well, that concludes my uh, perch pattern. Uh, good luck to everybody out there this weekend. Hope you get some walleye. If you decide to tie this fly, this perch pattern, and you do get some walleye on it, uh, send me a message, tag me in if you want. That'd be awesome. Cool. Uh, hope you enjoyed this, this pattern. If you did, hit the like button. If you really enjoyed this video, hit the subscribe button. Uh, thanks everybody for watching, all your support, and all your comments. I appreciate that. Uh, I got a few more steelhead videos coming out. Uh, and then we're uh, wrapping up in steelhead and then we're doing uh, some carp and some walleye and then um, crazy this is time of year is the best time of year opening day everywhere I love it uh, thanks everyone for watching I appreciate it I'm Taylor's and Chasers and I'm out